It's your girl, Sid, from Savvy Sentient, and welcome to your June 2023 general reading. If you all are new here, hello and welcome. Make sure y'all say hello in the comments below, and make sure that you all do the things like share and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you are looking for a personal reading, you can book over on SavvySentient.com, and there's also some merch over there. And if you are looking to learn tarot or you just want to check out some bonus content, please consider becoming a channel member or a patron. That information is linked in the description box below as well. If you'd like to know what I'm doing when I'm not reading tarot and reading y'all for a fill, you can check out my other channel, Simply Savvy, where you can follow my lock journey as well as, you know, gardening and whatever else I got going on. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get into your reading and see what y'all really got going on. All right, let's go. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and get into your message. So as I was channeling your energy, your channeled message from your spirit team goes as follows. They said, where are the ones who are supposed to where are the ones who are supposed before finally just saying, you need your support system more than ever. So they're questioning where are the people who are supposed to be here for you? And they're affirming that right now is the time that you need them the most. So let's go ahead and pull your spread, starting with your overall energy. What is this channel message all about for Aries? What is this message all about? For every spirit, speak to me, speak through me, let the messages be clear and concise. What is the overall energy here for Aries? All right, so we have the two of swords as your overall energy, which means that you are at an impasse. You are in a place in your life where you feel stuck, where you feel stagnant, where you don't know which direction to go. And this is the reason why you need your support system so you can move forward. So what is happening, Spirit? What is happening with Aries? What is happening with Aries? We have the strength card showing itself. It didn't come out, but it is definitely showing. Current situation. We have the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups represents a new beginning in spirituality, in love, creativity, and also a healing journey. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups coming out. What else do we have here? The Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a student, very curious. Um, but this can also be a card that is kind of defensive, okay? So let's see what that's all about. Tell me more, Spirit. And judgment in the reverse. All right, so there's a situation, obviously, with the Two of Swords showing up for you that's requiring you to make some type of decision that you're failing to make with the judgment in the reverse. Now, the message of the Two of Swords card is, of course, needing to make a head over heart decision. Uh, but also, the deeper message in that card is failing to make a decision is going to result in the universe making a decision for you or for things to play out in a way. Okay, so my ring light just completely cut off right when I was trying to give y'all that message. Um, <laughs> so the Two of Swords also has the deeper message that if you don't make a decision, a decision that is going to be made for you regardless by the universe, and it may not be one that you're happy with. Um, it is not lost on me that the lights went out, as I was saying that. So, lights out on a situation if you don't make a decision. Okay? I feel like whatever this is, this is something that may require, or at least to you, it seems like it requires a lot of research, a lot of deep thought, but I feel like it may not be as deep as you're trying to make it. I feel like there's a obvious decision that you don't want 
to make. Like, you know what it should be. You know what has to happen, but that's not necessarily what you want to see happen. Okay? So, what is the obstacle that we're dealing with here? What are the obstacles in the situation, Spirit? Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles, which is a new beginning uh, in your stability. Like, this is the planning. Uh, this could be planning to move. This could be planning to go to another job. This can also be financial windfalls. This could be planning your roots, you know, uh, planting the seed for something new. Okay, tell me more, Spirit. High Priestess in the reverse. So again, like I was saying, and this is falling right in the middle of your reading. Your intuition, High Priestess energy, your intuition is telling you exactly what the move is, like what has to be done. It's just something that you don't want to hear. It's something that you don't want to do. <laughs> okay. Um, Final card for the obstacles here. Four of Swords. And you are in heavy meditation about this. Okay? Heavy meditation about it. The Four of Swords follows the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak, pain. So perhaps something painful has happened for you, and you don't know what to do to move forward or how you're supposed to move forward. Um, but spirit, your intuition... Your judgment, your discernment, it's telling you exactly what you need to do. You just don't want to do that. Okay? So, what is the resolution in this situation? What is the resolution here? We have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? So, this is inheritance. This is legacy. This could have something to do with your family or someone who's um, been around you for a very long time. So when you consider family. Okay, what is the resolution? Too many, but we'll take this one. The devil in the reverse is part of your resolution. Okay, releasing things, old patterns, old habits, toxic uh, situations that are no longer serving you, freeing them. Um, for some of you all, the devil in reverse could represent like shadow work, addressing that shadow aspect that you don't want to face. So for those of you who know what the answer is and you don't want to do it, it could be because uh, part of the answer, what it is that you don't want to do, um, it triggers you. It has something to do with your shadow. It's a, it's a part of you that you don't want to face. Uh, but... Leaving your energy was the Ace of Cups. So, definitely there's something here that has to be healed. Okay? So, with the Ace of Cups and the Devil in the reverse, I feel like this may be, for some of you all, shadow work. This may be um, a relationship that needs to be mended. Wow. An apology that needs to be made. So with the last card that I was attempting to pull in your resolution, uh, three cards came out and as I spread them, I see the Knight of Cups, I see the Fool, and I see the Ace of Pentacles. So what I'm getting from this is definitely that there's some type of apology, some type of, I, I hear Hail Mary, but like a leap of faith. Um, and then the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning um, and stability in work, in relationships, in your health. For some of you all, this could be very much health-based as well. There may be some habits that you have obtained over the year, over the years. And for some of you all, I'm getting that these habits have been, they're the direct result of like trauma that you haven't dealt with. So like if the habit is some type of drug cigarettes, alcohol, um, overeating, undereating, it's attached to some type of trauma. And you are now at a part in your life, in a point in your life, where it's make this decision, do what's best for yourself, or the result, as we saw earlier with the ring light, is lights out, like end of the situation. Um, not to be too grim, but for some of you all, uh, this could be really a matter of life and death if this is about your health. 
So either stop smoking, stop drinking, manage your eating better, manage your diet better, um, stop hanging around certain people that have you in like a low vibrational lifestyle or the result is something that will result in your detriment. Um, and that's not what we wanna see for you, now is it? So let's go ahead and clarify some things. <clears throat> Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. I heard long, healthy life just now. With the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. So, definitely for some of you all, this could be about separating, um, going off on your own, being independent in order to um, have a legacy at all, to create a legacy or to have um, abundance moving forward, to have stable health moving forward, you may have to do some things alone, break off from certain people. Tell me why the devil is here in the reverse. Knight of Wands, taking heroic action, saving yourself, okay? If not yourself, there may be um, someone else who is in need of your help. This situation could very much be about someone else and you're trying to figure out, you know, what to do to get them in a better position. But just based on the tarot alone, trust your intuition more. Trust your discernment and your judgment more. Uh, address things that are toxic that you want to avoid. Whatever it is that you've been avoiding is very likely the key to solving this whole situation. With the Page of Swords here as well, get all the information that you can get about the situation to ensure that you're making the best choice for yourself and others involved, okay? But I just wanna just emphasize above all things, High Priestess is in the reverse here. Um, trust your judgment, trust your intuition, because I feel like that little voice in your head is telling you exactly what has to happen here, and you just like, nah, no. Like you're trying to chew it away, but you know what has to be done already. So let's go ahead and get some rebel messages, because we haven't really rocked with the rebel in a long time, and I'm just feeling like maybe y'all need to hear some rebel messages. All right, so rebel, rebel, talk nice or don't, I don't care. But please tell Aries what they need to hear. What messages do we have for Aries, rebel? You are being shady. Watch out, shit could get ugly. All right, so in this situation, you may want to chilly check yourself before you wreck yourself because you may be being shady. And that can even be being shady to yourself. All right? Especially if this has to do with like some type of addiction. Like feeling like you're not worthy so you might as well just keep doing what you're doing. That's being hella shady to yourself. So knock that off. What else, Rebel? <laughs> I knew it. Didn't I say an apology might be necessary here? Rebel messages say fucking apologize. Apologize. All right? Seriously, just do it is the message on the back of the card. And what is the final rebel message that we have for Aries? Stop sleeping so damn much. Seriously, you're missing out on some pretty cool shit is what the message says, something like that. But yeah, um, and with this message, I kind of feel like you're sleeping on your intuition, you're sleeping on your discernment. Like, for some of you all, you're sleeping on your potential by indulging in this toxic stuff. But whatever the case is, wake up, Mr. West, all right? So let's go ahead and get your crystal spirit message and see what guidance we have from the crystal oracle. All right, Aries. So your crystal spirit message comes from kyanite. Kyanite is number 28, which reduces down to 10, okay, which is about endings bringing new beginnings. The essential meaning of Kyanite says resolving disputes, diplomacy, restoring harmony, 
mending fences, and building bridges. Harmony means that even though we are all different, we can blend our unique voices to create an ethereal chorus that uplifts us all. Kanye Night Spirit's message is that now is an excellent time for fixing those sour notes that have appeared, resolving any disputes, and healing any rifts for the good of all. Although we have our own ways, we can learn so much and gain tremendous support when we, when we let go of our rigid, my way or the highway attitude. Recognizing that we are all imperfect, looking for our commonalities can steady us when we're feeling a bit shaky. Tune into others and work toward harmony. You will find yourself growing and becoming stronger as a result. At this time, honesty is required. Be willing to look more clearly at others, your situation, and yourself so that you can find ways to work together and find common ground if possible. We are all imperfect, but love and commitment to fairness helps us heal ourselves and our relationships. There is a value in different perspectives, and we agree to disagree, for many voices are needed in a choir. We are called to delight in differences, for we have to learn for we have to lean on each other and we're always interconnected. Keep this in mind as you take action to heal the hurt feelings and reconnect with others in the tribe. All right, so who y'all need to apologize to? <laughs> y'all are being told to apologize through the rebel deck. We have the ace of cups starting the reading. Sorry if y'all hear Hazel. She's scratching. She's itching. I don't know what's wrong with her. She just had a bath. But yeah, fucking apologize from the rebel deck. Ace of Cups, which is a beginning in healing. Page of Pentacles could be an offer, an apology. Um, the Devil in the Reverse coming up out of that toxic situation or um, yeah, toxic situation that you might be dealing dealing with and your judgment your intuition telling you to do exactly what you want uh what you know you need to do but you're refusing so it seems like there's a situation here that you need to make up with somebody i don't know who that is i don't know what they did or why you're not rocking with them but a resolution needs to come it needs to come quickly because it seems as though this is a top priority to you like this is front and center on your mind this is sitting on your conscience and you would really like to be done with it you would like to really resolve it whether that's completely cutting somebody off or getting things squared away and resuming a relationship but whatever it is you're ready to handle it or at least you need to be okay so let's see what the advice is what is the advice for Aries, what is the advice for Aries? All right, so we have the Father of Pentacles, and immediately when I saw the Father of Pentacles, I got the message of be the bigger person. Be the bigger person, okay? Father of Pentacles, both of you all, all of you all, whoever's involved in the situation, I feel like everyone feels like they regret what has happened, okay? And so this message here is, you know, be, be the bigger person. Don't cry over spilled milk. Don't fucking ruminate over the past. Instead, with the Wheel of Fortune showing up as your advice as well, Begin a new cycle, okay? Shift the way that things are going. For some of you all, you need to realize if this is not something that you can resolve, that this is what was meant to happen, that this is fate. So there's no need in, you know, fixating on this, all right? So if it cannot be mended, it was meant to happen this way. If it can be mended, it was still meant to ha be happening this way, but you know, be the bigger person to resolve it so you can move on with the relationship and free yourself from the self-imposed mental prison. 
Because like I said, I feel like this is heavy on your mind, like in the forefront. It's all you're thinking about, taking up a lot of space, all right? So let's get your postcard from Spirit. Postcard from Spirit, let's hear it. What messages do we have for Aries? And it goes with it something like this. Dearest you, do you know how much we love you and want to help you? We are here for you and here, and we hear you ask for guidance, but you must let go and let us help. You don't have to do it all. You've done your part, now let us do ours. You would be awestruck if you knew how many strings were pulled through the matrix to give you what you need and desire. Spirit has a plan. And when you sign up to be a co-creator, you need to remember to allow the partnership. It's not one-sided. Your desires and plans meet up with those of spirit. Remember though, spirit's timetable and ideas of how things will play out may be quite different from yours. Trust us, spirit's ideas are amazing. Now let go and let us do the magic. Pay attention to the other areas of your life and before you know it, a miracle will have taken place. Okay, so I kind of feel like this message is do what you can, do your part to resolve or rectify the situation and then give it to spirit, give it to God, give it to your ancestors, give it to your spirit team, okay? Do what you can do and then let it go. And then the situation will resolve in the way that it was meant to, okay? So that is your message, Aries. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. I do respond to the comments. Please make sure that you all like, share, subscribe if you have not already. Book personal readings at sariusindian.com if you need one. And of course, until the very next time I read for you, Aries, I wish you all love and light. Now go get right, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.